correspondence from His Excellency, the Executive Governor of River State. And I'll read. Right, the Honorable Victor Okojumbo, Speaker, River State House of Assembly, Port Harcourt, requests for screening and confirmation of Barrister Emmanuel Frank Fubara as Commissioner nominee. Pursuant to Section 192 of the 1999 Constitution as amended, it is my pleasure to forward Barrister Emmanuel Frank Fubara to the River State House of Assembly for screening and confirmation as Commissioner and member of the River State Executive Council. Thank you for the prompt attention accorded to my requests by the House, and please accept, Mr. Speaker, the assurance of my highest regards, signed, Sir Seminala Fubara, Grand Service Star of River State, Governor of River State. Screening and confirmation of Commissioner nominee. Two, River State Emergency Management Agency Bill 2004, HA1, second reading. Three, River State Transport Authority Reform Bill 2004, HA2, second reading. The Honorable Speaker, the two colleagues, I write this morning to move a motion that the Commissioner nominee be ushered into the chamber. I so move. As to second the motion, ably moved by my friend and brother, the only good boy in the sanctuary, I so second. Welcome the, to the Hallow Chamber. Emmanuel Onengi Frank Fubara. Please stand up. the local government area of River State. I'm a legal practitioner based in Port Harcourt, and I've been in legal practice for 26 years. But before I graduated and became a lawyer, I attended Calabari National College, Buguma, and obtained WAX certificate in 1988. Thereafter, I proceeded to River State University of Science and Technology, now known as River State University, and obtained my LLB certificate in 1996. I then proceeded to Nigerian Law School and was called to bar in 1998. Thereafter, I enrolled in the National Youth Service, in Lagos, and passed out in 1999. And then I commenced my legal practice thereafter. I started my practice in Lagos, subsequently moved to Abuja, and then finally relocated to Port Harcourt, where I opened my law office and Christian it as Frank Fubara and Co. I'm the managing solicitor of that law office, and we have been in practice ever since. Thank you. 
Uh, two questions for Mr. Nomini. First question is, uh, in your CV, it has always been a private sector venture for you. I have not seen a, in your, anyone who served in the public sector. Uh, I wish to, to ask, how will you cope in this newfound uh, environment? And uh, the second question is, uh, Right from when your name was forwarded to the house, we saw Fubara, and what came to our mind is the executive governor of River State. We want to know is there any linkage, is there your elder brother, your father, or anything? Thank you. Leader, the name Fubara. I saw a lot of posts on social media alleging all sorts of things. But let me put the past very clear. I am from Abonima. And I have no any blood relationship with the governor. The only relationship I have with him is a working relationship. That is it. Secondly, in respect to this, your public uh, engagement of uh, whether I have been involved in any public engagement. Yes, I have. I have been appointed into several committees, several boards, commissions in River State. And I believe that that has also built my profile, you know, to engage in public service. I believe and I know that I have the requisite qualifications, the requisite experience to handle, as you know, you know, the law profession we are regarded as learned. We have done almost, we have touched almost every sector that you can just imagine. And I know that wherever I find myself at the end of the day, I will be able to discharge the duties of my office creditably. Commissioner Nomini. Sokari, good boy, Sokari, leader of the Tent Assembly. Uh, in the way of advice, I would say, Mr. Commissioner Nomini, as you start your job, look at the face of this people here. They've played a role in ensuring that you are admitted into the executive arm of this fast-moving government, a government that has turned River State into a construction site. And we wish you well in this new journey and pray that you support His Excellency to deliver on this given mandate. On this note, may I move a motion that the Commissioner nominee be escorted out of the chamber. I so move. Deputy Speaker. My dear colleague, I write to second the motion moved by the leader of the House that the Commissioner normally be escorted out of second. I will say, Mr. Speaker and my colleague, we shouldn't waste much time in debating on uh, the charisma, the qualification, and the standard of the nominee before us. And uh, I urge my colleague to, without any further delay, to approve this nomination. I so move. In line with uh, the leader and his suggestion, I want to simply to this line. Reason being that I've been issue, I've said that the commissioner nominees, I know him for over 15 years running. And uh, there's a common word I used to use. He has impeccable character. A man that is known to the people. The man is receptive, very accessible, a man that, if given this opportunity, will serve the state, as I know, to the best of his knowledge and ability. I want to join the leader of the Tenth Assembly to say that there will be no need wasting much time in this confirmation or debate. Mr. Speaker, I want to indulge you because the law is at your bosom. You decide how much you want to cut and how less you want to leave. Please, 
let us, without any further delay, allow him easy passage as a second. The Commissioner nominee, Emmanuel Onengie Frank Fubara, be approved for his appointment as a Commissioner in River State. Say aye. All those against, say nay. The eyes have it. Members of Friday the 5th of July. Okay, Uruwari, Ugubolo Constituency. Now is Kwane Leyi. Welcome the...